hope as you can tell I sound quite sick because I am just getting over this cold and so basically I'm going to London now to stay with my cousin this is like my first time flying alone so exciting um yesterday when I was on the way home from my flight um something happened I started to cry a lot just being like really overwhelmed when I fly I, I tend to get a bit overwhelmed at the airport and my body just does not react well and I think I was just so tired from my cold and it was that time of the month and um, I think someone said something to me and it, it really upset me I'm quite a sensitive person I tend to react quite a lot um, and I used to be told like you're so dramatic, you're overreacting, or whatever. But I just think that I feel a lot more. Just wanted to say that if anyone else feels the same way, then you're not alone. Yes, <laughs> I, I do do. I'm just kind of learning to be more attentive to my emotions and not push them down. I feel like that's really important to let yourself cry feel sad sometimes because I tend to ignore that and sort of just get on with things but it eventually catches up you. <laughs> um, I, I, I can't even count like the amount of times something small happens and I just have a really emotional reaction on countless public transport seems to be a th reoccurring theme here. <laughs> the bus, the train, also more than the airplane. I think it's, it's a really good thing to be sensitive. I think it's helped me a lot with my writing and my art and all the things that I like. Channel it as well into those sort of things creatively. I'm a bit nervous about going to my home today, but It'll be all good, and I feel, feel like it's it's quite a short flight, so once I get on there, I'll be fine. And then I'm gonna go and rest for the rest of the day because this cold has me wiped. So I have a concert planned for Sunday, which I'm really excited about. I'm going to see the 1975. And I was meant to go like three years ago. I had like the ticket booked, but then COVID. Lineup was so much better than like three years ago, but it's still pretty good now. And I hope to kind of visit some nice artsy places in London. I like, searched it up and it said Camden is quite good for that. So I might check that out. And yeah, my cousin is gonna come with me. I haven't seen her in like years. Uh, I'm so grateful that I am. she's letting me stay with her. <laughs> but yeah, well, that's the plan. <laughs> What's your <clears throat> favorite racket? Yeah, if you had yeah. to choose, I mean, it's, I know I, 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 the hard I, I, question. I, 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 it's the one for the rest of your life. Or would it be? No, 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 but that's different. I came to the conclusion. For, so I just started this in November. Okay. So and I just been buying records that mean something to me. Mm -hmm. So they are, you know, most of them are from the '90s, which is the decade that I am really into it. And I came to the conclusion that this one is my favorite album to play uh, in the record play. I don't know why. Have you ever heard about these guys here? Yeah, yeah. So this is my, I think it's my favorite one. So I was like deciding between these three outfits. But since I bothered to 
cut out this from an old t-shirt and stick it on to a new t-shirt i think i'm gonna go with this one um so yeah i'm gonna go get changed and do my makeup for the show i'm more excited like to see the japanese house because i've listened to them for a few years now and i but they never seem to do like many shows so yeah guys i'm just gonna like do my normal um base routine some moisturizer uh, with spf concealer bronzer uh blush all that stuff do some nice like eye makeup to a bit of color because the outfit's mostly black so <laughs> we need a bit of pop color It's the day after the concert and as you can tell I can't really speak because I was literally screaming the whole time plus I came here with a cold so what did I expect <laughs> but yeah I was literally for the last few days taking like straps so vitamin C all that stuff so last night when I came out I hadn't a clue where I was going I took the wrong tube so I had to like go after a few stops, I realized, and then I came back to the station, then got off one stop short, and then I had to get in it, wait again, and then finally got there. It was about like a five, ten minute walk. So yeah, <laughs> it was an adventure. I met some cool people there as well, and we were just hanging out, having a good time, and we got food. So between each act, there was a bit of a wait, so just walked off and we went to the, like the second section of the barrier because it's a, on a bit of a hill so you can see better you can actually see the stage so this is the fit for today i couldn't wear boots because my feet were literally so sore from last night but i really wanted to wear like something other than just my regular like jeans so i went for this lovely skirt that i got on holiday and my earrings and some jewelry, of course. So yeah. I don't know why, but it's always so windy here, and I'm like being blown away. I did not dress for the occasion, and it's raining too, so I'm like.
It smells like some sort of funny sweet thing. I don't think I'm a big fan. It's kind of a weird flavor, but um, I might try it in a different flavor. Then I went to the Barbican Centre because it was literally right beside where I was staying um, and the guy that was giving the tour was actually quite funny. <laughs> Then I went to an art exhibition upstairs, a really good exhibition, I highly recommend it. It had like images and poetry beside it. And the stereotypes of what it meant to be a woman and a wife and a mother. The building was obviously set back in the day. I can't actually remember what exact date. It also showed racism past and modern day through photos, visuals and also poetry and it was really emotional and yeah I think the way it was done was really good it was like the perspective of a person from the photo like they were speaking about themselves and their story Then I sadly had to say goodbye to Barney before I got my flight home But yeah, overall thoughts um, I'd definitely go back to London. Um, <laughs> not me wanting to move. Um, no, but yeah, actually, well, I wouldn't mind going over for a short time to find a job that I like. But um, yeah, no, that's that was really it. It was really fun. And yeah, definitely would go back and there's lots to do. Also, like the airport was so fancy. Like it had loads of restaurants. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna just have a bit of food in Wetherspoons before I fly back. <laughs> so this was what I had. That was really it. Um, and thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And see you on the next one.